Death Mobbit, and welcome to They Are Here, Alien Abduction Horror. Because why not? Uh, looks like we got a prologue and a demo. Send your stories and suggestions to They Are Here at gmail.com. Well, let's uh, let's see what the prologue is all about. See what kind of horrifying experience. I mean, it looks pretty here. But there's still the light of day. Prologue. Tell the story about the first UFO content happened 30 years ago before the event shown in the demo version. The main character is Private Michael Anderson, who serves at a military beers near Grage, Grage, Gragewood. Ah, by chance, he becomes a witness of a terrible historical event. Okay. What the heck the demo is then? Okay, Air Force Base, 1979. A UFO, perhaps? Alpha, is that a meteor? Negative. I'll try to get in touch. You entering controlled airspace. Tell them. What are your intentions? On screen. Introduce Engage. Yourself. Introduce yourself. What are your intentions? No answer. Switching to heat control. Number one. Engage. Push Pushing down. Down what? Delta, I have strong interference. Say again. Unintelligible voices? I try radio on different frequency. Probably intelligible. Alpha calls data. Unidentified object begins pushing. Ten seconds to land. Saying again. Ten seconds to land. Over. Okay. There we go. Michael Anderson is two miles from the landing site. Who's Michael Anderson? Send Michael. Hail very well. What's his qualifications? Well, he uh, did a diary or a, a, a short story on a Wendy's nearby, but send him. Or what would I call those things? Ooh. Look up. Oh, I got my beep booper. Oh. Did I just... This is base. The object has landed. Your task is to identify the object without contact. Omega team will arrive in one minute. We'll conduct surveillance from the air. Drive with care. Report when you are... One arrive. minute? I could stand here for a minute. I read you five by five, sir. Out. I don't, I don't like this. That's the zoom. Oh, I can run. Cannot jump, though. Uh, do I want to go... Towards the dot? Oh. Yeah! <laughs> I got my radio, some kind of... Who am I? I don't got no feet. I see you're winded. Am I a soldier and I'm winded already? Red lighting. Oh, it's probably like a flare or something. Okay. Getting tired. Michael, come on now. Are we... Maybe... We're, I don't think we're military, like I said. He's getting really tired. What do they need me for? You got like a helicopter, you got like a gunship. This is Omega. We see you. We are monitoring. Monitoring what? Okay, well you're way ahead of me, so I'm gonna go on foot. really see why I'm necessary. It's probably just going to be a thing where, you know, they need me to investigate board the ship or something. That thing's probably just going to get shot down by something. So it doesn't matter that they're, they've responded. I'm just going to keep running. This is Michael Anderson. I report radiation detected. 
counter indicator is average. Not winded now, are you? That'd be great if he's like. Roger, man, here. Oh my god. This is Michael Anderson. Devices are naughty. Wait a minute. The object is being detected and is approximately the way from the airport. Don't notice movement. Over. What? Why was that blurred out? Oh, we couldn't make a connection on the distance. It's about 12 parsecs away. Oh. That a radiation thing going on? Omega, what the hell is going on with your devices? Radiation levels are rising. Over. We're good. It got worse. <laughs> it's worse. Hey, can you hear me? Something strange is happening. Lights are break down. Indicators are constantly changing. It can't be that everything breaks down at the same time. It seems that there is some kind of an anomaly here. Well, there's an anomaly, all right. This is the base. This is the base. The base. Okay, stop moving. We're getting close. Let's go, Omega. This is the base. Someone set us up the bomb. What's moving? Why are you turning? Omega, fly away. Michael Anderson, follow protocol. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, it's getting colorful. Oh, they got you. That's like just rotating, isn't it? It's dark. Fuck. What the hell is going on? It is dark. I didn't realize they were producing so much light. Can anyone hear me? Over. Base. The base. Can anyone answer? What's clicking? Oh, it's his. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're setting me up. the hell it's in the mouth too hey hey dude I'm I'm trying to examine this deer oh tentacly oh god oh god where's my beepy beepy booper am I going the right direction over here how do I get over this rock? Oh god, it sounds like the predator's after me. Oh ho ho ho! Found you! What the hell are you? I distinctly remember doing that before. What was that? Focus. Hello! It's a nice. What is this? That's what you got going on. Come on, that's a very standard-looking UFO. Hold the rice mouth, rice mouse button, right mouse button to zoom. Oh, look how zoomed in we are. What? Huh? Yeah, exactly. Oh, they're they're already. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, there's lots of bops. There's lots of blips. Oh, there's lots of blips. Oh, game over, man.
In the full game, you'll learn how the events of the prologue are related to Grace so far. The story of the Taylor Fox. Add the game to a wish. Dad, I thought I was gonna like, you know, more like diary, journalist stuff. What is it those guys do? Like Outlast, you know, the camera and the batteries. Okay. Uh, exit to menu. All right. Now, there's also a demo. So let's see what the demo is. Ooh. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Grayswood Farm on the night of August 7th. The Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction at the different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This is strange behavior in the skies observed at the same time each night. For five nights, in fact. According to the owner of the farm, all animals went crazy. The dogs became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. Who? Them, maybe? Anyways, the children complained that someone was walking under their, under their windows. Oh, okay, okay. Under, uh, Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa is on site right now. Okay. Roll on up. Huh. Here we are again. Task. Dr. Farmer Peter Sherman. I'm part of the number the number one news team. Only the best on site for this. I also Oh like I can zoom in. Press laugh take a photo. Take zoom and move, okay. This is great material for a news reporter. So I can also like lean in and then there's also Oh, I guess it doesn't. Sherman's house. Sherman's house? How about, like, the Sherman house? It's off this way. Oh. Nothing like the old invisible wall. I suppose it's okay. Trash out. Good, good family folk. One bag of trash doesn't seem like enough. Because they're dirty people. Really? It's corn, not popcorn. I'm stepping on some caramel corn. Stepping on the old kettle corn. They know I'm here. Awesome. Farmer's note. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you. And the police in case we pass each other. What? Oh, I can zoom in on the object I have. We'll leave notes for you. Really? Seems like an odd. Ah, good evening. Sherman House, what's this? We're familiar with this sound from our prologue experience. Who's this? Hello, Shermans. Members of the Sherman family. It's a nice family. All right. What's this? Members of the Sherman family off to a hike. That earlier? Oh, yeah, must be younger. Younger, early, the early days. Hey, let's just, let's look at this room. Milk. Who leaves the milk out? Old 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 newspaper. This old newspaper has information about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena have been seen throughout state for a long time. Why I never knew about this? Why I never knew about this? And yeah, well, you should. Down to earth, approach alien visitors. And I have a sip. Okay. 
Everything else is clean. They just left the milk out. There's no refrigerator. Oh. Uh, okay. Locked. Or I assume so by that sound. All right, what do you got here? I'm assuming very. They just had two daughters, but uh, who knows? Uppers. Lock? No? Whoa, what's in the clock? Castle? Supposed to be Disneyland or something? Ooh, hello. Why is that on? What were you looking at before you got abducted? Aliens. I've learned a lot about these things. They are called the Greys. These are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following ways. A large head, just approached with Bobby, no hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near the home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed. Oh, lovely. Have severe headaches and a buzz in their ears. The animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. For example, in the middle of a field or a road, a few kilometers from a house, from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens establish control of their minds, and this has an effect on their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body, incisions to be exact. Dream. Dream completion. It felt like something thick, or an object moving under the skin. Yum. Yummy. I like the little artist's conception down here. This is the gray alien. Armor's children's diary. Found my old diary. How could I forget that? I saw the aliens. <clears throat> Sticker. Found from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Diary text. Today was the most exciting, scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was Fishing from an abandoned pier of the river, suddenly I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around, very low above the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights and windows was hovering. A punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if I could, as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me and it seemed to me that they communicated with the other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in that evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I saw, when I got there, I found several cuts in my body, two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Okay. Wait, what happened to my... We'll take a photo of the diary. I was like, why did it go weird? In here, perhaps Sherman saw something else look creepy. Okay. Wow, they got it on there. Well, hi, Happy. Oh, hello. That's straight off from a game I've played. Okay. Okay. Lovely. Here, okay, that's it. It's going to be behind me, the window. Music is kind of intensifying. I don't like it. We're gonna leave it open. I don't remember closing this door, but okay. Like it. Like it. It's room. Probably the most dangerous. Have you played Phasmophobia? Why is it the children? It's always the children! Look at this, mommy. Flip over. Come on! And she just drew this. What, what window is that?
walkie-talkie. Apparently, it belonged to the missing girl. It doesn't care. You hear very strange sounds. The missing girl. Can we take it? Okay. Don't hear her though. This. Ah, crap. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came, and she wasn't in her bed. And the window's wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Uh oh. Uh oh. Megan or the window oh god they're in the house now oh I don't like that sound at all Is that thing like floating overhead? Everyone's got pizza. That's horrifying. Oh, yeah, we did that. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The footsteps sound like he was on the second floor and I was down below, but. Crap. That's the door I came in. This one's open now. Oh! Of course, of course, of course. Hello? Where'd the door go? Oh. Oh! Why'd you turn your light off? What's wrong with her eyes? It wants me to be glued to this. He's working his way up behind me. Oh, she's fine. I thought there's just her eyebrows. Up. Odd. Look. What's going on here? Wind itself. Oh, stop it. Nobody here? All right. You missed your opportunity. <laughs> yes, I'm alert again. A note. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They tortured me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple, abduction. I only remember the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ears were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter implant. Because of this, 
We got everything. I definitely decided I would get it. I would get it. Not crazy. Get what? Oh! A little jar with a strange device. Oh. You cut it out? Oh, gosh. Okay. Now we got the implant. Lovely. I'm out in here. So, if I go... Be flat. If I go upstairs, will they... Will they come after me? Turn to the car. The light's not working. The light would still shine me to the other side of the room. This is not how lights work. This is not the sky. I return to the car. Hey. Hello to you too. We're not going to make it to the car. I have your device. Five. Oh. oh, there goes my car. There goes my car. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, hey, friend. Uh, run to the car. I'm getting tired. What? Start it. Oh. oh God. Boom. Bang. Windshield. Bang. I could do a 360. How do you do that? Oh, hello. Hey, friend. You don't want me. I already have the implant. Yep. There I go. I'm gonna sit here. Oh! I have no legs! I have no legs! Hi! <laughs> Hi! Hey! Friend! Find a large territory grid farm and a full survey abduction. I see. Well, nabbed yet again. So there goes Taylor and Michael. We're not. Uh, we're not doing too good. Mankind is failing. Why didn't lock the door? Pied, it wouldn't matter. This, what, what, what can you do? The spaceship. I, I feel like they could have done more, but you know. Hey, thanks so much for watching, guys. Sure to appreciate it. Take a bite of that like button like you want it. Dead! And consider subscribing if you want these to come straight to you. Sure does mean a lot to me. And until then, we'll see you next time.